I think she is genuinely, in popular music, the only true innovative artist that's out there. If you call her a pop singer, it belittles her. If you call her an opera singer, it belittles her. If you call her an Icelandic singer, it belittles her. She's a dance site more interesting than most of the so-called contemporary classical composers. She was born with a voice that's very sexual, but at the same time very childlike. Uh, very vicious and like powerful, but no sense that she'd ever do damage. I think the biggest influence Iceland has had on my music is organic and maybe not so literal. I think I have a lot of affinity with Arctic places. And um, I think uh, Mediterranean passion has been documented very well. But I think the Arctic uh, brand of passion is, is different. And um, it's not more or less passion, it just lies different. It's, it's a lot deeper. So unique. She doesn't want to be followed by other people. She wants to keep that for herself. No, no, I don't think she likes to see herself as a star icon. She doesn't necessarily dress to be copied. I think she is is what she wears. I was born here and lived here until I was 27. But for a person like me that's that religiously obsessed with music you can only get so far i had just come a little bit more mature and i was craving and i was hungry to meet people who felt the same way about music as i did no one has a voice like her in pop music um um, it encapsulates every single kind of form there is, but it, she doesn't work within a form. She's just totally unique. There's no rules. She abolishes all the rules. Just when you think a song is going somewhere, it goes somewhere else. And melodically, um, I find her probably the most interesting writer that's writing. <laughs> Yeah.